Despite notable achievement in recent years, gender divisions persist in labor markets worldwide. Female participation in the workforce lags behind male participation, resulting in substantial gender wage disparity and a disproportionate representation of women in the formal sector and among those living in poverty. Many countries will still enforce legal restrictions that hinder women from fully realizing their economic potential. While achieving gender equality is an important development objective, it is also crucial for economic growth and stability. Deputy Unit Chief in the Strategy, Policy and Review Department of the International Monetary Fund, Stefania Fabrazio, stresses that empowering women economically is not only morally right, but also a strategic imperative. Empowering women economically is not only the right thing, it's also the smart thing to do. We have seen some progress in recent years, but women still don't enjoy the same employment opportunities as men. And when they do find work, they often don't get paid as much. If we continue as we are, according to the World Economic Forum, it'll take over 200 years to close the gap between working men and women. So, what to do? Well, for starters, we need to support education for women. We need to give them access to health care and also create a safe environment for them to work. IMF research suggests that education and increased women's labor participation by more than 15 percentage points, government budgets and fiscal policies can address gender inequality. It's called gender budgeting and it's been successfully used in countries ranging from Rwanda through Mexico to Germany. It involves making taxes and spending decisions which have a high firmly effects on promoting access to education, healthcare and economic empowerment for women. The right policies can go a long way to helping women meet their potential and those policies will create better lives for their family while helping to boost our global economy too, which is good news not only for women but for us all.